Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Shelin and today we're going to do some baking. Every Christmas we would bake Linzer cookies or Linetske. So here I am sharing our family old recipe, of course in a vegan version. So sit tight and I hope you will enjoy it and hope you will get to try it too. And of course have lots of fun. By the way, can you guess what I'm singing here? For linzer cookies we will need Butter at room temperature Flour Icing sugar Baking powder Milled flax seeds Some cookie cutters And milk Let's prepare our flaxseed egg Add 3 tablespoons of water on one tablespoon of flax seeds. Stir and leave rest for 10 minutes. In the meantime, we're going to mix our butter with the icing sugar. This whole mixing and preparing the dough is going to take some time. So just grab the bowl, sit at the sofa and watch something while mixing and mixing. After some mixing, the butter and sugar will look just like this. Now we are going to add 1 tablespoon of milk. I used almond milk. After some mixing and mixing and more mixing and combining, it's all going to look just like this. Nice and creamy. The flaxseed egg is ready. You can see the flax seeds, they absorb all the water and they create like jelly-like texture. Add it in the butter and sugar and now it's time to mix even more. You will always see some of the bits of the flax seeds but it's just alright. This is how our butter slash dough looks like so far. Add a baking powder in the flour and now it's time to mix it all together. and get ready for some more mixing. After a bit the dough will look just like this and it will be difficult to stir and mix. So we can use our hands. And here is the final dough. It's nice and very easy to work with. You can get it out of the bowl. Preheat the oven on 150 degrees. Dust your working space properly with the flour. And make sure you dust your rolling stick too. And it's time for rolling and rolling and even more rolling. And it's time for cookie cutting. First, I'm going to use my heart shape. We will bake our cookies on dry baking tray. No sheets or grease. Make sure your cookies are in pairs because later we will be sticking them together using a jam. After you cut all the cookies from the first part of the dough, it's time to do even more rolling and do even more cookies. I find it's really relaxing myself. When the baking tray is full, it's time to put it in the oven. Keep it on 150 degrees for 6 to 7 minutes. For next shape, I really wanted to do circles, but unfortunately I didn't have a cookie cutter, so I used a cup. I really wish you could smell these guys. The hearts are finished, they are ready. And now, it's time to add our circles in. Leave your cookies sit on a tray after baking for at least 5 minutes and then just gently put them in a container. Next, I will be doing these bunnies but I won't be sticking them together with jam. This must be my very favorite cookie cutter, although it's not very Christmassy, but it's still cute, isn't it? The very last one. Thank you. 
and now it's sticking time. You can use any gem you like, but I really suggest using some sour gem. I'm using black currant gem, it's going to create very nice contrast between the sweet cookies and the sour gem. Try it! Just look at the delicious cookies. Now, you can put them in the airtight container for later. Or you can display them just like I did. At last, dust it with less icing sugar than I did. taste test. As you can see, I really enjoy this. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please make sure you like, subscribe and comment down below what are you going to bake this year. See you next time! Mm.